So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree video and in this video guys, I'm going to showcase you how you can get this full gear set, weapons included, called the Horned Warriors. It's absolutely incredible. The weapons have unique skills to them. You don't want to miss this guys, trust me, do not. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the Horned Warrior gear set and weapons come from an enemy called the Horned Warrior. Now, they're few and far between. There's one early game, which is what you can you can basically farm him. He's right next to a Grace, which we'll go to in a quick second. But firstly, we'll check out exactly what these weapons are capable of and what the armor offers. So firstly, the weapons, guys. Now, it's got a special unique skill. We drive the sword into the game, uh, into the ground, so and just basically raise those spikes absolutely badass um, they are curved swords so they're quite fast hitting too uh, actually a big fan of curved swords not gonna lie to you so yeah so done some, get some great attacks as you know as you guys know I ain't gotta explain that okay so the sword itself the horned warrior sword you can see guys it's got a unique skill horn calling invokes tangled horns to cover the weapons blade drive the weapon into the ground calling up a cluster of piercing horns don't know why i call them spikes but hey so the weapon itself it scales with strength dexterity and faith so pretty cool if that's what you're into again it's a curve sword so yeah now the armor itself guys the helmet obviously offers something unique it actually raises your strength uh, by five uh, but it does as it says it reduces the effect uh, from the flask of sacred tears now this isn't that apparent from my my actual my experience but hey it says what it says doesn't it so yeah there you go now it's a medium load armor set uh, so i ain't gonna weigh down too much either so yeah pretty cool and again i farmed this enemy so i've got two of these bad boys because curved swords in my opinion are better when you dual wield them because they're potent now i haven't actually got the materials to level these up so i can't actually use them within the shadow realm because i just get slapped by i mean they're still pretty good but if you want to if you want to uh, have weapons here you got max amount you really have so where do you get these from and what enemy do you farm so first things first you want to come to this grace right here you're not going to go back there it's a grave site plane this is the first grace you'll come to upon you entering the shadow realm i can see it right there i'm actually don't want to make our way to this grace all the way up well it's not even far but it seems like it is i've only opened the first bit of the map yet so yeah now you will bypass or go past all these graces too which obviously you want to activate at the same time okay so let's make our way there where is my trusty steed there he is okay so we're going this way it's actually pretty dark now night time so yep just follow the path i am telling you know what i'm actually going to do i'm going to skip it to daytime so you guys can see exactly where i'm going i'm well aware that this is brand new to dlcs so people well, obviously, the um, plane is fresh, so they want to unlock these grace points. So it's obviously we want daytime, people. We need daytime so you can see where I'm actually going. So past time until morning. There we go. So what you gotta do, what you gotta do, people. You actually see the armor. It's, uh, it looks much, much better in the day. Badass, badass people. Okay, so we're still marked over there. So let's go. Okay, so. Come this way guys, coming towards these buildings, coming towards the tree. And you can see the big old fire giant in the background there. It's not the fire giant, but looks like the fire giant. It's a cage fire dude who stamps as you go past him and he hits pretty hard. So yeah, we run past all the graces so we can activate these if you're, like I said, uh, new to this point, which I know many, many players are. Actually, you know what? I read somewhere that 60% of players have not beat Morg yet. That means that many, many players are going to buy this DLC and they're only going to be able to access it, which is bizarre because that's grace number one. Now, we're actually going to run this way because that big old bastard in the background there, he stamps at you and burns your ass, which is what I don't want. We've actually got a head in between that big old opening the rock there anyway, so that's good. So let's go this way. Don't you dare stamp, you big old fucker. Oh, he's kicking, he's kicking shit at me. Okay, so over here there will be another grace. Which you can see the crush right there. I'm going to run towards that, run towards that tree. And there's a grace right there. Oh, my days. 
Okay, so there's a graze. Access that. Speak to the vendors. Do what you got to do. I'm going to run up here. That's a bit of a trek, but like I said, because it's um, fresh, the DLC is fresh, it's best I show you exactly where this graze is you need to be at because I know players will be watching this. I have no idea where that is, so yeah. We've got to do what we got to do, and I apologise about um, the length. Now, I will put timestamps in the video description if you want to just skip to that grace. If you've unlocked it already, that's cool. So do go ahead and click on that now. There is another grace point right around here. There we go. So, yep, grab that one too. Then up these steps. I mean, are they steps? Yes, they are. Now this door will be closed for you, so you obviously want to open it. And behind the door will be a big old dirty scorpion, which you will have to fight or run around. To be honest, it ain't too bad. Let's see what these do to him, actually. Come on, you big old bastard. What are you going to do? I'll chop your legs off, you... Oh, oh dear, oh dear. The stamina's run out. I was wondering why I couldn't stack them. There, there we go, there we go. There we go, I'll just kick your ass. I'll just kick your ass. <laughs> okay, so you want to go up these steps right here. Avoid them, and there's another scorpion right there who you want to try your best to avoid. Just want to do that on somebody to see what it's like. That's obviously the faith uh, side of this weapon. Oh my, that scared the shit out of me. Jesus and Jesus. So keep coming up here. And up these steps. And there will be a grace point on your left hand side. Which I'm going to go and sit down at. I don't want the scorpions chasing me and tickling my ass. So you want to sit down at this grace point. Obviously activate it. Get back up and you want to run this way. Now just around this corner there is another hard hitting enemy. He basically free taps you. But it does me anyway. So just avoid him as best you can. There's another one on your left hand side right there. And there's a dude on that balcony. Just spraying shit at that. Just, just get out of the way of that. Top of this hill guys, there is an opening on your left hand side. Which you want to go in. And at the top of these steps there is a grace point which you want to activate. Okay so from here people, this is where we farm the dude. So the dude is right up here. And you'll see him right there. And you'll see on the screen now me fighting him, taking him out and getting his weapons to drop. Now, like I said, he swings, he's using these curved swords, he's swinging them with menace and speed and basically probably three taps you too. But yeah, take him out, do what you gotta do. If you don't get a drop, run back to that grace point. Let's farm him over and over until you get this armor set known as the Horned Warrior. And there we have it, guys. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.